is Wavetable? No, not that. I'm talking about on a synthesizer that has lots of different wave shapes. On a simple synth, you might have sine and triangle and saw and square and pulse. On a lot of digital synthesizers, you can have many, many, many different waves. And so one thing I can do is just pick a sound and sweep through the different waves. I can use a modulator to wiggle that parameter. So I could go back to sign, and in my mod matrix, I have ribbon going to oscillator one's wave. So if I turn that up and hold a note and then move the ribbon, you're going to hear it sweep through those waves. Now, that's kind of a rough cut. In other words, it's jumping very harshly to each of the waves, and that can make for a cool sound. But on some synths, they let you morph between a set of waves that you choose. If instead of having a single wave type, I'm gonna go to what's called wave scan. And in wave scan, they've given me eight slots, and I just put eight of those different waves in this thing. And now, as I go back, I can actually sweep through them like this, and notice on the screen how we're morphing from one to the other instead of jump cutting from one to the other. So now I'll go back over here and I'm going to do the ribbon instead of to wave, I'm going to do it to wave scan. And so now instead of you're gonna hear that morphing sound. And if I play a chord, it's really pretty. But if I don't wanna move it manually, like all modulation destinations, they can get sources from LFOs, envelopes, ribbons, aftertouch, pressure, you know, any, anything you want. So in this case, I'm going to go to LFO1 and set that to wave scan. And now I can control the rate of that LFO. And if I want, I can make each of the notes that I play start from the beginning from its own LFO so I can get interesting shapes by rolling a chord. So that's just the slightest taste of wavetables. If you want to learn more audio definitions, go to sweetwater.com's news and research page. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching.